Uh, and now we're back in New Orleans uh, to celebrate. Uh, absolutely. A, a lot has happened uh, here in the last several months. Uh, might have heard of these, these guys by the name of BP. Um, no, I'm sorry. Just, uh, but as you can see by our reception tonight, uh, Chef Chris Wilson uh, and our whole entire team in our organization we celebrated seafood and a lot of seafood from the Gulf. So I hope you, hope you guys enjoy it. I, um, you'll see tonight, throughout the evening, um, a lot of generous people. All of you in this room and a lot of generous people that have made this happen. Uh, preserving tradition and also for future generations. You're going to see letters from kids, brief thank yous to donors and sponsors, uh, and I want to thank the entire crew of Carnival de Vin, chefs, winemakers, and a whole lot of volunteers that have made this possible. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. We have, a, we have an amazing dinner with some great wines from some great chefs and great winemakers. A great live auction. Don't forget the silent auction will be open until 10 o'clock. It's all for the kids and what we do. And then, at the end of the night, we're going to blow the roof off the place with Cool in the Gang. Have a great time, folks. Thanks for being here. Have an amazing dinner. And now, I'm proud to, well, this is like a first. Yeah. Our incredible mayor who's doing incredible things in this city, Mitch Landry, is in the house. Mr. Mayor, I don't know who you are, but come say a few words for us. Oh, my heavens. Where y'all at? <laughs> the incredible Blythe Dana. Blythe, how are you? It's nice to see you stand up and let everybody tell you how much we love you. The great Rusty Staub, who I was just commiserating with you over there. Rusty, it's nice to see you. God bless you. And to Kermit Ruffins and Jeremy Davenport, if y'all don't know how to sing the song Treme, y'all need to kind of get with it. I know that a lot of people in this room are not from New Orleans, but if you know, you got to get jiggy with it in New Orleans. I'm going to explain something to you because we're not as sophisticated as the rest of the world because we don't want to be. <laughs> people, want, people ask me about, uh, about New Orleans, what is it that's so special? When we're trying to kind of present ourselves to the outside world and let you know that we have a little bit going on, we say land yet. For those of you that don't know what that means, it's a French iteration, it means a little extra. Right, but really the way we say it when you come here is New Orleans gets all up in you. And that's the best way we can explain what it is that you feel on the street. And tonight is a perfect example of that. As you come into this beautiful hotel, you see these men and women who are waiting on you. You see the musicians, Kermit Ruffins, Jeremy Davenport, who are uh, edifying your soul with the gorgeous music that makes you want to kind of jig a little bit, right? We say amen. Right, Admiral? And what it is that you feel about this place is a soul. It's a heartbeat. It's a pulse. It is a uh, accumulation of all that the United States of America, through um, the amalgamation of so many years of so many different kinds of people coming here, finding themselves on the streets of the city of New Orleans, where jazz was created at Congo Square right down the street, where the Acadians came from Quebec and through the slave trade people came from Africa and folks came from all over the world, this beautiful melting pot, this beautiful culture, this very special thing that the world almost lost because of Katrina continues to rise again. The sense of... It's a beautiful American story. 
And it wouldn't be possible without all of you. And of course, incredible people like Emeril Lagasse, who, like many other people, could have chosen to leave. There was a lot of reasons to leave the city of New Orleans. Of course, 500,000 homes were hurt. 250,000 were destroyed. Everybody lost everything that we had. And the world was divided into people who left and people who stayed. That's the way we see our lives. And the people of New Orleans, and so many of you, uh, exhibited what we call an unconditional love for something that was bigger than ourselves. And through the most horrific times that any American citizen has seen in a very, very long period of time, uh, there were angels among us, people who decided to say, you know what, I love no matter what. I'm going to stay no matter what. I'm going to stick. I'm going to stay because this is something special. And there is perhaps nobody more special than Emerald, who rededicated himself and his family to the welfare of the people of New Orleans, who, with you, has raised millions and millions and millions of dollars to stand people back up, to edify their lives, to find a way to make New Orleans become more like herself. Because, with all due respect to those of you that are not from here, we love where you're from. We love Vegas. We love Chicago. We love New York. We love Los Angeles. We love Paris, but we don't want to be like you. <laughs> you see, the truth is that we just want to be more like ourselves. And we're going to find a great way to get back there. And the truth of the matter is that America is beginning to find herself again on the streets of New Orleans as people recreate their lives. They do what they have to do because it is all that is left to them. And out of that comes great entrepreneurship, comes great love, comes great culture, comes a richness that people in America have been yearning for for a very long period of time. And the thing that has made that work is each individual. It hasn't been the government. It's been individuals reaching out to help each other, lifting each other up in a very special way, giving to somebody else something that you know they need that only you can give them. And for those of you that have been so generous with your time and so generous with your money, the people of New Orleans will love you forever. This is the place that if you love her, she will grab you and love you back and never let you go. And tonight is a special tribute emerald to you uh, and to all of your friends that have loved us so much. This is your home. You should count us as such. And we will be your home forever. Thank you and God bless you.